Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Thoughtful Leaders and Initiative under Thoughts on Education by College Dunya. Today, we have with us Dr. Seema, Director at MIT Institute of International Studies. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Good evening. Ma'am, we would like to start with a brief introduction of yours. Dr. Seema is a PhD, MA Psychology, MBA HR. and believes that attitude passion and willingness to work hard leads to success with over 35 years of experience as a counselor academician and thoughtful leader in psychology ma'am has over 13 years of experience as a director at multiple business schools ma'am is also a freelance journalist for several national and vernacular publications like the times of india indian express nav bharat times tenik jagran umar ajala and many others Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you, Garvit. I'm really uh, very happy to be part of this uh, program. So, shall we begin the interview then? Yeah, yeah. Let's start. So, ma'am, my first question to you is that, as we saw that you in your introduction as well, that you have been a part of many B schools, uh, to be precise, over thirteen years. So, how has been your experience so far in the education industry? and some of the things that you find unique to the sector yeah i uh, see the teaching is a noble profession and there is immense work satisfaction for everyone who is associated in the education sector so, there are very few occasions uh, where one can claim that they have made a difference in someone's life education is one such profession and i'm really proud to be part of uh, this industry MIT Institute of International Studies is a great place to work. The management has given me the autonomy to plan and strategize the work of the uh, working of the institute and I have equally passionate and dedicated team members to work with which has created the ecosystem of positivity and energy that makes the entire uh, institute very happy. That's good to know that. So, ma'am, being the director at the MIT Institute of International Studies, what is your philosophy of leadership, and uh, how would you describe your leadership style? Okay, uh, see, I am a people-oriented and equally task-oriented leader. Okay. My source of leadership lies in my expertise and different power. I believe in equal participation of team members in the decision-making process. i am like uh, i am a democratic leader and try to involve majority of consensus during the planning and organizing details so in my every event or any program which we decide all the team members are involved and they are aware of what we are planning to do and how does the pedagogy at mbd institute of international studies ensure the best practice of the industry uh see in uh, mit institute of international studies we are following the syllabus which is uh, given by uh, ncc education uk we okay. are ncc education uk's partner center in india so we have uh, british syllabus and ncc education is a uh, global provider of education british education across the world okay. so we we follow that pedagogy which is very different than our uh, indian uh, studying style Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, and our approach is student-centric approach and learning-centric approach. Hmm? So, in our uh, uh, methodology of uh, teaching, our students and teachers they both play an active role in learning process, and the curriculum is designed to suit an inquiry and project-based learning. So, students undertake pre-designed projects, discuss the results and learning in the class. Uh, with the faculty through presentation as well as role playing method so the okay. uh, uh, generally we have uh, we follow the memorizing or rote learning uh, process which is not there in this uh, qualification so the course units are prepared to comply with the national occupational standards of uk ensuring that students studying the course are job and industry ready that's great ma'am So I'm you did mention a little about the course, but I would still like to know that how the institute support its students in fulfilling their dreams, and can you tell us about some of the initiatives that the institute 
has taken in this regard okay uh, see the in the international institute we offer uh, mainly three courses one is like a pre university course which is after 10th standard then we have graduation courses which is uh, in business and computing and also we have post graduation programs okay, okay. so uh, the okay. uniqueness of our program is that through ncc education uk we are associated with more than 70 universities in uk canada australia okay all these countries so our students they have an opportunity to study in various universities after completing their first year with us in mbt for uh, like graduation course which is a three years course so uh, in that students they have a choice they can complete first year here and two years in uk or they can complete two years in india or one year in uk so this is how this makes you know uh, we are making uh, this course available and accessible to lot of students those who you know who have a dream of studying abroad but majority of time you know parents or students or they feel it is a very expensive education in uk or canada or australia any foreign countries as compared to india so we offer the program in indian rupees uh, where student can complete uh, one year or two years in india and then remaining part in uk where they which is cost effective and as well as student get a good exposure of uh, getting the international programs here and our courses are off call uh, off call registered courses so this off call registered courses help the students to cut down the 60% of expenses in teaching and uh, approved by all the colleges and universities in uk and canada and australia and few universities in uh, usa also this is the yeah. uniqueness of our program yeah, yeah. that's great to know that uh, uh, i ias has uh, made these programs so accessible to the students yeah our aim is that if the students have a dream of going studying abroad and if yeah. they feel that the cost is the only reason which is you know uh, uh, stopping them for not leaving the country so we provide them uh, the midway path where they can join our program and they can fulfill their dreams okay Swam, so, would you like to know? Would you like to tell us something that the people might not know about the institute? See, uh, institute. When you talk about the institute, what I feel any educational institute is known for its academic uh, excellence, and academic. that I can claim that. Yeah, I can claim that we have an excellent faculty. Okay, uh, our faculty members have industry experience also, so we provide. good industry academia uh, experience to our students that is one thing another thing about met uh, institute of international studies is that uh, i think we are the only institute in india which has got this kind of option where students can you know uh, study part here and they have option of studying more than 40 universities only in uk yeah. they can choose to study in, in these universities then uh, we focus on holistic development of our students where academic is very important that is there but apart from that we focus on personality development of students which we feel that with excellent academics if they have a, a good personality and positive attitude they can excel in whatever uh, field they choose to so we focus on everything and provide lot of uh, opportunities for them to explore the other side of personality like the creative side of personality so we provide uh, we organize cultural activities they can participate in dance drama skit or these festivals we organize a lot of industry related programs like corporate meet guest speaker industry guest speakers are coming yeah. they are mentoring the students mm -hmm. plus we have industry visits so a lot of other activities we do we have excellent sports facilities in our campus indoor and outdoor plus we have one very good uh, musical uh, uh, facility where students can uh, learn and play music musical instruments also so all these things are there in the institute so uh, we focus on every area of personality we believe that only academics cannot uh, help the students in excelling in future agreed so our philosophy is that yeah so ma'am uh... <laughs> how do you see the higher education space transforming in 
the next few years from now uh see uh i believe that now this uh, hybrid student focused learning is the future with online yes, and offline sessions with uh, learner navigated course material so uh, this is going to be uh, the future of our education and the personal coaching and mentoring for life skilling and career building including the entrepreneurship skills will take uh, precedence over the road learning okay. today the entire world's data is at students fingertips yeah. what they need is guidance on how to flip the information into the meaningful and useful uh, knowledgeable and positive side that is very important and ma'am would you like to share some plans that the institute is looking forward to implementing in this new near future i see currently we are uh, for if uh, we are talking about international programs currently we are offering computing and uh, business programs our plans are put uh, to launch media and film making related courses from okay. the reputed foreign universities okay yeah that is our plan now and ma'am uh, during this covid 19 a lot of uh, almost all institutes and universities were forced to stop these physical classes so in such a way how did the institute of international studies cope up yeah this covid 19 has created a very unique uh, situation for uh, the entire globe and yes, students were forced to stay at home and study online which was very uh, unique and see unlike for any young students to sit at home and study but uh, during this time um, met actually has uh, provided a quick access to online uh, video meeting platforms and online learning management systems to shift okay. the physical classroom to the online learning management systems and we uh, all of us got good training also from the trained uh, it uh, people to how to conduct the classes online the faculty uh, were trained so uh, it was very smooth transition for us from uh, classroom to online teaching was a very smooth and i also conducted the motivational and mental health online sessions to ward off depression among the students and academic fraternity in my capacity as a psychologist so it it was uh, uh, difficult initially but then we got used to it and very smoothly even student also accepted and adopted to this pedagogy and especially about if i talk about uh, international students our uh, time table time schedule for exam was given in advance and we followed the same we conducted exams in the month of may and uh, our results were declared in the uh, july so there was no disturbance from uh, uh, because of covid there was no disturbance in our entire system we are very very process oriented and the entire schedule is given Six months or one year in advance, and we followed it, and we followed that during this COVID time also. It was very wonderful experience for all of us. Yeah. So, ma'am, my last question to you is that any suggestions that you would like to give to the youth? I see this COVID pandemic has uh, disrupted the education system and forced the student to stay home and study remotely, which was actually very unusual for all of us. in this situation managing emotions is absolutely vital for navigating through this critical situ- uh, crisis time so i uh, tell all the students to be not even students to everyone to be emotionally strong and especially for students i would like to tell that they should have faith in themselves they should work towards pushing their boundaries be positive and passionate about whatever they decide to do they should have right attitude and they must focus on reading now what has happened because of this online online thing reading has reduced so i want all the youth yes. to read read and read good material which will help them in developing their uh, mental capacity and they must think before acting <laughs> and try things differently try to do things differently and should not get afraid of failure if they have decided to do something please walk on that path ups and downs are the 
uh, will be there obstacles will always be there don't get scared just fearlessly keep walking towards goal and i'm sure that you will achieve whatever you have decided to do in life well said ma'am yes thank you so much ma'am this was certainly an thank insightful you. session it's a pleasure to uh, connect to you and to present my views on this platform and i'm sure and hopeful that the students will get uh, get benefited by this thank you very much thank you very much so everyone this was dr seema director mit institute of international studies mumbai we look forward to speaking with you again yeah.